Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. In our previous episode, we saw how you can hide or obfuscate the host name or AKA's IP address uh, when you're phishing the victim or when you're phishing someone uh, using like, you know, various number conversation system like hexadecimal, octal, uh, and, and as well as like, you know, uh, decimal itself. So today we are going to see some of the more variations like how you can use hybrid like all at once uh to even more confuses the user and also bypass some of the filters uh next thing we are also going to uh see some uh js like javascript uh techniques which you can use uh to construct your payload uh so you can easily bypass the filter also you can confuse this uh, confuse the like you know the victims that they don't realize what kind of payloads that you are sending or, or and you can exploit like cross scripting and other vulnerabilities so please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and let's get into it so as part of the advanced obfuscation, the first, uh, like, you know, one technique we, we didn't talk about in the, in the previous episode as part of the series was the hybrid approach. And when I said hybrid, we, we saw individually how you can use the hexadecimal, how you can use like in you know, binary, how you can use octal. Uh, but we have today, I'm going to show you how you can combine all of this and maybe like, you know, uh, obfuscate the entire host name. So suppose this is the Google IP address and, and if we go to 172.253.621.39 it should lend us to the Google page. And that's the vulnerable domain we have, right? And uh, if I if I go here, 172.253.62.139, oops, okay, my bad. Right, so that that would take us to the Google page. Let's see. Yes, and now our certificate is uh, also validated. Now, if you if this is world to a, a vulnerable domain or let's say hacker uh, domain, you cannot just send the IP address like this. Maybe because uh, one can look up the IP address, they can find more information. If they are a little bit aware of like you know how you can do the uh, initial info gathering so rather what we're going to do or what we can do is instead of this decimal let's let's convert one of the like you know part of the host name to hexadecimal so first uh, uh, first number of 172 in the IP address so let's do uh, let's use this one uh, to replace our IP so instead of 172 what I'm going to do is I'm going to type 0x and then what was the AC C and then rest of the IP address we can keep it as is and that should work most likely let's see yes so that also uh, like you know we, we came back to google.com so that worked now you can also be a little more uh, adventurous and what we can do is we, we converted 172 to uh, hexadecimal now we can also convert 253 to let's say octal convert and the number comes out 375 so our first number was AC and make sure you you put uh, like you know 0 X which is how you represent hexadecimal uh, then the next one is octal now we got the I think 375 here but octal always comes into the four uh, digit so you're gonna embed like a, a zero here and then we'll put the octal number that we found out then we'll say 62 then you can say 139 right okay this should work as well and yes uh, now we are back to the Google so if you if you uh, like you know send someone uh, URL which is something like 0x AC 0375 62 at 139 HTTPS right this should uh, take you to the google.com as we saw before and that's that's the reason uh, it's like you know sometimes it could create confusion among the users and they and you can also bypass some of the filters because it might only looking for the hexadecimals or or maybe only looking for the octal and and you can like you know be as much as when as much creative as you want to be like maybe you can have uh, this and this digit hexadecimal this this octal or maybe you can have one decimal uh, two hexadecimal and one 
uh, like you know decimal or octal so you can you can be uh, you can mix and match all the approach and see which technique works for you to sound to bypass the filters as well as like you know uh, create the phishing attack for the users and this is not just like you know uh, for the for the IP addresses but you can do it more for the payloads as well and that's what we are going to now see in the uh, next uh, slide so so there are a lot of hidden features in the JavaScript which you might or might not know so for example let's say if you need to represent false which is like you know in the boolean uh, false value then you can instead of using uh, other characters like uh, one is equal to two or or use uh, instead of using like you know alpha numeric values you can just use special characters or symbols to represent the same value and the reason I'm teaching you this because you can just use this particular like you know characters and you can still form a like a valid string uh, because most of the filters might look for the words like alert or or script uh, some of the basic keywords and your your payload will be stuck but instead what you can do is you can just use some characters and then it will tell you uh, exactly like you know uh, what the value is so for example uh, false if you have like an you know, exclamation and the square brackets this will turn out to be a false then same with the curly braces uh, double quotes double exclamation and then comparison between the square and curly braces now this one in opposite will hold true so if you have two negation and and the square bracket will hold true same for the curly braces one exclamation and, and double quotes and then uh, this is quite surprising where like square bracket is equal to equal to space and now if you want to represent number zero so like you know that's what i said if we, let's say in the payload you want to have alert zero but zero is blocked for some reason let's assume that you can also uh, and this this way you can you can uh, like you know uh, create any string or any letters you want using just the special characters and that was quite fascinating so here you can just use plus and and, and uh, double quotes that will represent number zero minus double quotes plus square bracket minus square minus plus minus plus and square bracket will also turn out to be a zero i actually found a really good article here uh, which was executing non alphanumeric javascript without parenthesis uh, and this is too like without parenthesis right and and uh, this was the kind of uh, kind of uh, payload that the that the attackers used to hack the uber and that was quite uh, creative so for example if you I, i'm not gonna read through the entire article but uh, I, i'm actually going to link into the description but if you see this one so the first task is to generate the string find we need to generate numbers in order to get the right index on the string undefined here's how you can generate the number one so if you do like this this will generate number one and it will uh, like you know uh, it was able to bypass the filter now basically the code creates zero flips it's true because zero is false in javascript then plus is the infinix operator which makes true into one then we need to create the string undefined as mentioned and get fourth index by adding those numbers together to produce letter f and this is how uh, if you put this one this actually comes into letter f which you would have never imagined that this is possible and in the end you will have the payload like this just focus on this part and this will result in function alert one now any filters who would be looking for keyword like function or alert will will you can totally bypass by just using this one and this was uh, one of the old technique which was uh, which was introduced and also helped like you know uh, hacking uh, the uber account as well but we are not gonna go deep into it because uh, if you if you if you want to learn just just search for like non alphanumeric javascript uh, payloads and how to how to produce this but here as i showed here uh, in my in my slides this is like you know kind of a, a techniques that you can use to produce different strings and this is uh, another one uh, another technique that i want to uh, talk about this is called gsfuck so here as you can see uh, they also use just the special characters and this will actually turn into uh, this particular string 
and and that's also uh, quite uh, fascinating on how it works so for example if you see this is JSFOC is an escorting educational programming style based on the atomic parts of the JavaScript it uses only and only six different characters to write and execute the code it does not append on a browser so you can even run it on node.js use the form below to convert your script and uncheck the evil source to get back a plain string so this is even quite easier like you can just use this convert and I had used it many many times if I want to convert any string which is being uh, filtered by my applications uh, or the backend uh, you just put the string here oops sorry you just put the string here and if you hit the encode uh, of course if you want the plain text you can also uh, do the eval source but yeah you can just do this you can copy and, and try to pass into the uh, pa pass into the application and, and that's how it's going to uh, give you the best results and this is the main uh, github page or javascript uh, for this particular library and as you can see uh, this is how you can have false this is true this is undefined uh, this is infinity uh, you can also have constructor uh, this is how you can create the strings and this is for each uh, string letter how you can create those it's actually uh, like if you get into it uh, of course we cannot go into details and I cannot teach you in the uh, like you know in this limited time but uh, I'm going to link both of these resources into the description as well uh, but simply if you ever want to use or convert your your payload into uh, non alpha numeric uh, string maybe you can use this converter and, and try with it and you'll be surprised that sometimes you'll be able to bypass some of the toughest defense so that's uh, that was the another technique which I wanted to show uh, now let's uh, move on now one thing you might notice like if you have this big of a string uh, for example like the one that we saw here it might be very very difficult to pass in a function or in an application where um, like you know there's a there's a restriction on on the size of the payload and that's where it becomes very critical very critical and that's one thing and the other thing is sometimes if you pass this uh, payload then uh, user might also get like you know uh, eyebrows is that uh, raise their eyebrows is like something is fishy so next thing we want we we need to learn as an as an ethical hacker is how you can compass this how you can how you can uh, hide or obfuscate our payload so it's not visible not just by the filters or the backend but also the users who we are trying to exploit and that's what uh, like you know I, I want to teach you now so imagine like this is a uh, this is a JavaScript code and this is actually a code I've I've taken from one of the website I haven't written myself that's also a reference in the in the description below but if you see this one this one is actually a malware. Uh, right and, and you can easily figure it out by just reading through the code now if you if you have to pass uh, this particular code into a payload it will be very very difficult uh, because uh, because of so many reasons so what we need to do is uh, rather we need to compress it and when I say compress it uh, uh, it's called minifying and 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 when we minify the code it removes the unnecessary characters and and unnecessary characters are something like space uh, then new line characters uh, then I think uh, some of the characters like you know a tab or, or, or stuff like that so those are uh, those are uh, and also the comments right because those are not needed for the compiler or for the processor or the interpreter when it's interpreting the JavaScript or the browser as well so that's why if you remove this then this is what you see right here uh, and and that's the same code which we saw the slide earlier and now if you it's it's been compressed now uh, one thing uh, technique is useful uh, but this you can still see like you can easily read the code right you uh, if if I am the I'm the victim I can still read the code and, and figure it out okay this is this is doing some something fishy on my system and and if you see uh, latest jQuery which is 3.6.0 it's also uh, in the same version so it has removed all the comments space line uh, space and the new line characters or the tabs and everything because this is a really large uh, compared to like you know really large JavaScript file and it's very hard if you put it in a nicer format uh, yeah it becomes difficult for someone to read it 
but of course not not any developer I think most likely would if they want to use it they just download and use it rather than reading through it so this is the technique that uh, people use but however the issue with this is you can still read and understand the code uh, which makes it very easy for someone to detect if your payload is malicious so next thing we got to learn is how we can even avoid that or how we can obfuscate it so the next thing uh, we need to do is we can use this particular tool called packer and packer what is going to do is it's going to pack the code in a certain way that it becomes ir like you know it becomes very very hard for someone to to even uh, imagine like what's going on or read through the code but and also it reduces the size as well so you can easily uh, pass into web application so when you use this uh, you put your actual function here so as you can see i put it function as is you can also like you know i choose the option of shrinking the variables and then you can also base 62 encode the payload and when it's a pack now if you read this particular code and and if you try to make uh, like in a sense of it what this is trying to do it will be very very difficult because we have changed uh, the variables name uh, we have actually uh, also encoded the entire uh, payload as well and and now if you pass this one compared to the one that we were seeing earlier here it becomes very difficult so these are the kind of techniques that uh, you should be using when you are doing like bug bounty or hack the box or 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 maybe a simple penetration testing maybe this way you will be able to bypass some of the basic basic filters that the uh, modern applications have in place uh, so try this out I'm, I'm gonna link every every resources that I have used in the description below and also uh, this will help you immensely not just for like you know exploiting cross-site scripting but any kind of uh, JavaScript or PHP and, and different kind of vulnerabilities so uh, we'll we'll continue our series. I'll I'll, I'll show you more examples and more techniques uh, where to uh, where to find and and how to generate those uh, uh, like you know different payloads in the future videos. Uh, but I think that's it for now. I think we have we have covered quite a bit in this in this episode. So I hope you get a chance to learn and and also uh, try it out yourself. And let me know in the comment section if you have used any other techniques as well because I'm also eager to learn. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, that's it for this week. I'll see you all next week. Bye.